हेलो एवरीवन नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एकेडमिक ट्यूबर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस यूनिट 14 फ्रॉम ग्रेड 10 साइंस दैट इज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स बिफोर दैट इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड फॉर मोर अपडेट्स हिट द बेल आइकन इफ यू वांट मोर वीडियोस रिलेटेड टू दिस प्लीज लाइक एंड टू शेयर दिस वीडियो अमंग योर फ्रेंड्स एंड आल्सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू गिव योर वैल्यूएबल रिस्पांस इन कमेंट सेक्शन Classification of elements The process of grouping of elements on the basis of similarities and differences in terms of their properties is called classification of elements. Classification of elements makes the history of elements easy, systematic, and scientific. Leverger made the first attempt towards the classification as he classified 32 known elements into metals and non-metals. But this classification was unbalanced because most of the elements were metals and very few were non-metals. Periodic table. A table in which elements are classified into various blocks, periods and groups on the basis of their similarities and differences is called periodic table. Mendeleev's periodic table. A Russian chemist, Dmitry Ivanovich Mendeleev, in 1869 AD, formed a periodic table of 63 elements with the increasing order of their atomic weights. He applied the terms period for the horizontal rows of elements and the term groups to the vertical columns. According to Mendeleev, the, men, the elements within the same group show similar property. He realized that not all the elements had been discovered, so he left some gaps for them in his periodic table. Mendeleev's periodic law. It is says that the physical and chemical property of elements are the periodic function of their atomic mass or weight, and the table in which the elements are classified on the basis of increasing atomic mass, or we can say the table that follows Mendeleev's periodic law is called the Mendeleev's periodic table. So. Here is a diagram showing the Mendeleev's periodic table. So Men, um, Mendeleev's focus on the compounds formed by the elements with oxygen and hydrogen as they are reactive and form compounds with most elements. The hydrogen and oxide formed by different elements were treated as one of the basic properties of an element for their classification. Mendeleev arranged all the known 63 elements in the increasing order of their atomic masses. The original form of Mendeleev's periodic table contains 6 periods and 8 groups. Mary's advantages of Mendeleev's periodic table. It helps in the systematic and scientific study of elements and their compounds. He left some gap for the undiscovered elements and predicted the properties of such unknown elements. He corrected the incorrect atomic masses of some elements like beryllium, gold, platinum, uranium, etc. during the construction of the periodic table. Noble or inert gases could accommodate in a new group in Mendeleev's periodic table without disturbing the existing order after discovery. Mendeleev's periodic table it has inspired subsequent chemists to discover new elements as he left some gaps in them. Demerits, disadvantage or anomalies of Mendeleev's periodic table. The position of hydrogen was not clear. Alkali metals and other metals like copper, gold, silver were placed in same group. However, this defect was partially corrected by dividing each group into two subgroups. Position of isotopes should be uh, separated according to Mendeleev's periodic law, but they were kept in same group. Isotopes The elements having same atomic number but different atomic mass are called isotopes. Mendeleev's periodic table was designed on the basis of increasing atomic weight, but some elements do not obey the periodic law. Example, argon having atomic weight 39.9 AMU was placed before potassium having atomic weight 39.1 AMU. There is no suitable place for lanthanides and actinides. So these are some of the disadvantages of Mendeleev's periodic table. Lanthanides and actinides. The elements from atomic number 58, cerium to 71, deuterium, uh, that follows uh, lanthanum are termed as lanthanides, which are also known as rare earth metals. 
and these elements have similar properties with that of 57 lanthanum atomic number 57 lanthanum the elements from atomic number 90 uh, thorium uh, to 103 lawrencium that follows actinium are termed as actinides which are also known as the trans uranium elements and these elements have similar property with that of 89 actinium modern periodic table in 1913, Henry Mosse uh, from England formed the periodic table by arranging the elements in the increasing order of their atomic numbers. On this basis, he arranged elements in seven horizontal rows called period and chemically similar elements into 18 vertical columns called groups. Modern periodic law. It is says that the physical and chemical properties of elements are the periodic function of their atomic number. The table in which the elements are classified on the basis of increasing atomic number or we can say the table uh, that follows the modern periodic law is known as the modern periodic table. Advantage of modern periodic table The wrong position of some elements like argon and potassium, cobalt and nickel due to atomic weight has been corrected by rearranging them in the order of increasing atomic number. The isotopes of same elements have the same atomic number, hence they find the same position in the modern periodic table. The doubtful position of hydrogen is explained by the fact of least atomic number that is 1, so it is kept in group uh, uh, 1A. There are separate places for inert and or noble gases. There were separate places for lanthanides and actinides as well. It makes the history of elements easy, systematic and scientific. So here is a uh, figure showing the modern periodic table. In modern periodic table, very active elements are kept in group 1 and they are called alkali metals. Very reactive non-metals are kept in group 17 and known as halogens. Noble gases are arranged in group 18. Similarly, alkaline earth metals were kept in group 2 and charcogens uh, were kept in group 16. All the metals are at the extreme left and non-metals are arranged in the extreme right of it. Uh, lanthanides and actinides are kept down in the block F and the rest elements are divided into SP and D block as shown in the uh, table. So in modern periodic table there were altogether 18 groups, vertical columns and the 7 period horizontal rows. Characteristic features are of modern periodic table. So in modern periodic table elements are arranged on the basis of increasing atomic number. The elements having same number of electrons in balance cell are kept in same group. There are 18 groups of vertical column in the modern periodic table. The elements having a small uh, the elements having same number of cells are kept in same period and there are seven periods horizontal rows in modern periodic table. Elements are kept in four different blocks that is S block, P block, D block and F block on the basis of preferential filling of valence electrons in various orbital. Elements showing metallic properties are kept in left side and uh, elements having non-metallic property are kept in right side of modern periodic table. There were separate places for lanthanide and actinide just below the transition metals. So differences between Mendeleev's and modern periodic table. So Mendeleev's periodic, in Mendeleev's periodic table, elements are arranged on the basis of increasing atomic mass whereas in modern periodic table elements are arranged on the basis of increasing at, uh, atomic number uh, in many this periodic table there are uh, eight groups and six periods whereas in modern periodic table there are 18 groups and seven periods in Mendeleev's periodic table elements having similar properties are placed separately whereas uh, in modern periodic table elements having similar properties are placed within the same group periods the horizontal rows across the periodic table are called periods and they are numbered as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. The pattern of arrangement of elements seen across any one period are seen across other period too, which is known as periodicity. So, so generally uh, in modern periodic table there are four, four types of periods. Uh, Period 1, uh, so where there are only two elements, uh, it is considered at the very short period. Period uh, 2 and 3, uh, which contain 8, 8 elements, uh, are known as the short period. And period 
4 and 5 which contain 18 18 elements are known as the long period and uh, period 6 and 7 which uh, consists of 32 32 elements are known as the very long periods now we are going to discuss some of the characteristics of period all the elements in a period uh, so a uniform graduation in their properties from left to right which is known as a horizontal relationship in the periodic table uh, so first characteristic is a valence electron the electron present in valence or outermost cell is known as valence electron and when we move from left to right in the period of modern periodic table valence electron it increases next one is valency the combining capacity of an atom or radical with another atom or radical is known as valency when we move from left to right in the period of modern periodic table valency force increases from 1 to 4 and uh, decreases to 0 Similarly, third one is atomic size. Atomic size, it refers to the radius of an atom. And when we move from left to right in the period of modern periodic table, atomic size decreases. This is because more electrons are added to the outer cell and the nuclear charges also increases with the atomic number. Next one is metallic character and electropositive character. It is the tendency of an atom to lose electron from balance cell. And when we move from left to right in the period of modern periodic table, metallic character and electropositive character decreases. Next one is electronegativity. It is the tendency of an atom to attract electron to our itself when combined in a compound. When we move from left to right in the period of modern periodic table, electronegativity it increases. Reactivity. When we move from left to right in the period of uh, modern periodic table, reactivity first decreases. Reactivity decreases in case of metal and then increases. Reactivity increases in case of non-metals. Ionization energy. It is the energy needed to remove the valence electron or the most loosely bound electron from the valence cell of an atom. And when we move from left to right in the period of modern periodic table, ionization energy increases. Groups. The vertical columns of the periodic table are called groups and according to International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry IUPAC, the groups are numbered from 1 to 18 in a sequence. Characteristics of groups The elements of a group are having similar chemical properties and so a regular trends in their properties which is known as the vertical relationship in the periodic table. First one is uh, balance electron. When we move from top to bottom in the group of modern periodic table, valence electron remains same. Similarly, valency. When we move from top to bottom in the group of modern periodic table, valency remains same. Atomic size. When we move from top to bottom in the group of modern periodic table, atomic size increases. This is due to addition of new cell. Next one is metallic character. When we move from top to bottom in the group of modern periodic table, metallic character increases. This is due to increase in atomic size and decrease in force of attraction between the nucleus and the valence electron. Non-metallic character. When we move from top to bottom in the group of modern periodic table, metallic character decreases. This is due to increase in atomic size and decrease in force of attraction between the nucleus and valence electron. Next one is electronegativity. When we move from top to bottom in the group of modern periodic table, electronegativity decreases. This is due to increase in atomic size and decrease in force of attraction between the nucleus and valence electron. Next one is ionization energy. When we move from top to bottom in the group of modern periodic table, ionization energy decreases. This is due to increase in atomic size and decrease in force of attraction between the nucleus and valence electron. Differences between group and period. Group, they are the vertical columns, whereas period, they are the horizontal rows. Groups, all the elements in the same group have same balance uh, electron, whereas uh, uh, valence electron increases when we move from left to right in period. All the elements in the same group, they have same balance, whereas all the elements in the same uh, period, they have different balance, same period, they have different balance. Uh, the size of atom increases from uh, top to bottom uh, in group, whereas uh, the size of atom decreases as we move from left to right in periods. Uh, in groups, uh, metallic character increases and non-metallic character decreases uh, from top to bottom, whereas in periods, metallic uh, reactivity uh, decreases and non-metallic reactivity increases from top to bottom. 
The elements in the same group have the similar property whereas the elements in same period have different properties and there are uh, total uh, 18 groups in uh, modern periodic table and there are 7 periods in modern periodic table main, uh, modern periodic table position of different types of metals in modern periodic table so first one is hydrogen so hydrogen it is placed in group ia so it is placed in group ia because it has one electron in its cell and it can lose one electron like other elements of group ia next one is representative elements the elements of group 1a 2a 3a 4a 5a 6a 7a and 8a are called the representative or no normal elements metals they are uh, they are usually found at the left side and uh, at the center in the modern periodic table uh, 3 by 4 of the discovered elements are metals on the basis of property metal are further classified into alkali metals alkaline earth metals transition metals inner transition real earth metals or lanthanides and actinides first one is group ia or alkali metals they are highly reactive metals having one valence electron they are located in the extreme left side of modern periodic table in group ia their valence is plus one the elements of group ia are lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and francium except hydrogen elements of group ia are called alkali metals because they react with water to form strong alkalis next one is group 2a or alkaline earth metals they are reactive metals having uh, two valence electron and their valence is plus two the elements of group 2a are beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium and radium the elements of group 2a are called alkaline earth metals because uh, they are found in the form of oxides on the earth surface and react with water to produce alkalis next one is transition metals the elements which lie in uh, between the group 1a and uh, 2a are uh, numbered from uh, group 1a and 2 and group 2a and number from 3 to 12 are called uh, transition metals they are d-block elements which can lose electrons from two outer cells to combine with other elements example iron copper gold etc next one is inner transition or rear earth metal or lanthanides and actinides elements with the atomic number from 58 to 71 after lanthanium are called lanthanides and similarly the elements with the atomic number from 90 to 103 after actinium are called actinides these elements are placed just below the transition metals at the two separate rows in a Yaw block because of similar properties. They are kept in Yaw block because of uh, preferential filling of OF and 5F of orbitals. Lanthanides are rare earth metals and actinides are artificial radioactive metals. They show similar properties to the transition metals. So they are placed separately below the transition elements in Yaw block of modern periodic table. Next one is non-metals. They are placed on the right side of uh, the zigzag line in the periodic table and they are found in group 5a, uh, 6a, 7a and 8a. There are 22 known non-metals out of which 11 are found in the gaseous system. First one is group 16, group 6a or chalcogens. The elements of these groups are oxygen, sulfur, selenium, uh, the metalloid tellurium and the metals polonium. They have 6 valence electron uh, and have valency minus 2. Group 16 or 6A elements are called chalcogens because these elements are found combined with copper in nature and forms copper oxides. Next one is group 17 or group 7A halogens. The elements of this uh, group are fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and astatine and they have 7 electron balance electron and have valency minus 1. Group 17 or 7A elements are called halogens because they react with hydrogen to form acids from which simple salts can be uh, made or simply we can say halogens means uh, they are uh, the uh, halogens means uh, salt producers. Next one is group 18 or uh, group 80 or noble inert gases. They are the non-reactive gases which are found in the extreme right side of modern periodic table in zero group. The outermost cell is completely fulfilled and the elements of this group are helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon and radon. Uh, group 18 or group 8a elements are called noble or inert gases because they do not take part in chemical reaction as their outermost cell has duplet uh, or octet. Difference between alkali metals and alkaline earth metals. Alkali metals are kept in uh, group IA and uh, alkaline earth metal in group IIA. Alkali metal, their valence is plus one as they 
gives one electron uh, alkaline earth metal their valence is plus two as they give so two electron uh, alkali metals they are more reactive and uh, alkaline earth metal they are less reactive next one differences between uh, alkali metals and halogens Alkali metals are kept in group IA, whereas halogens are kept in 7A. And alkali metals, they are highly uh, reactive electro-positive metal, whereas halogens, they are highly reactive electro-negative non-metals. Alkali metals are good conductor of electricity, whereas halogens, they are non-conductor of electricity. Alkali metals, they form electrovalent compounds with non-metals. Halogens, they form co electrovalent compounds with metals and covalent compounds with hydrogen. Next one is metalloids. Those elements that show the characteristics of both metals and non-metals are called metalloids. Examples are boron, silicon, germanium, arsenic, antimony, terrarium, polonium, and astatine. Metalloids are found from group 13 to group 16. Reactivity of metals. When we move down in a group, reactivity increases. This is due to increase in the atomic size and decrease in force of attraction between nucleus and valence electron. Therefore, tendency of an atom to lose electron increases and hence, chemical reactivity increases. Sodium is more reactive than lithium. Why? Because the atomic size of sodium atom is larger than that of lithium atom. So the valence electron of sodium uh, can more easily be taken by the other reacting atoms as compared to that of lithium. Reactivity of non-metals. When we move from top to bottom in the group of uh, modern periodic table, reactivity of non-metal decreases. This is because atomic size goes on increasing and the nuclear attraction for incoming electron decreases. As a result, tendency of non-metals to gain electron also decreases and hence chemical reactivity also decreases. Fluorine is more reactive than chlorine. Why? Atomic size of fluorine is, uh, is smaller than that of chlorine. So the nuclear attraction is more on the valence cell of fluorine atom. As a result, fluorine can get one electron more easily during the chemical reaction and hence fluorine it is more reactive than chlorine. 2 n square rule. It is a rule which helps us to determine the maximum electrons present in different cells. And we know that cells they are represented by the uh, letters K, L, M, N, etc. Subcell or orbital. The region around the nucleus where the probability of finding electrons is maximum is called subcell and there are four types of subcell they are S, P, D and F. The subcells can fill uh, in uh, up to uh, 2, uh, 6, uh, 10 and 14 electrons uh, respectively. So maximum electron carrying capacity of your subcell is 2, that of P is 6, that of D is 10 and uh, that of E of is 14. Blocks of modern periodic table. According to the arrangement of uh, electrons in the soft cell, the elements of periodic table are divided into four blocks. They are S block, P block, D block, and F block elements. First one is S block elements. The elements of group 1A and 2A of modern periodic table in which the last electron enters S orbital are called S block elements. Either one or two valence electrons are filled in S orbital uh, of S block elements. Next one is P block elements. The elements of group 3A, 4A, 5A, 6A, 7A and 8A except helium are called as P block elements. The elements in which the last electron enters P orbital of the outermost cell are placed in this block. Similarly D block elements. The elements in which the last electron enters D orbital of their outermost cell are called D block elements and they are placed between the S block and P block. They are also called transition elements and uh, this block consists of elements from group 1b to 7b including 8th group. And finally here it comes F block elements. The elements of lanthanide and actinide series in which the last electron enters F orbital are called F block elements. This block is situated at the bottom of modern periodic table just below the transition, um, transition elements or we can say D block elements. Difference between S block and P block elements. So in S block elements, uh, their last electron enters S orbital, whereas in P block uh, elements, uh, the their last electron enters P orbital. S block elements they are placed in the left side of periodic table, whereas uh, uh, P block elements they are placed on the right side of the uh, periodic table. Next one differences between P block and D block. D block elements their last electron enters P orbital and uh, D block elements their last electron enters T orbital. 
P block elements may be metal, non metal, or metallers, whereas D block elements they all are transition metals. Electronic configuration The systematic distribution of electrons in different subsets of an atom is called electronic configuration. Of Bob Principle it was founded by Wolfgang Pauli, a German chemist, and it says that the, uh, the feeling of electrons in an orbital always starts from lower energy level to higher energy level. The orbital will be filled by uh, electrons in the following sequence 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, 4p, 5s, and so on. Here is a diagram as well showing the uh, sequence of uh, sequence from lower energy level to higher energy level. Okay, so here is a table showing uh, the electronic configuration on the basis of cell and on the basis of soft cell of first 20 elements. So hydrogen uh, 1s1, uh, helium 1s2, lithium 1s2, 2s1, uh, beryllium 1s2, 2s2. Boron 1s2, 2s2, 2p1, and uh, so on. Similarly, uh, so uh, electronic configuration on the basis of subset. So here are up to uh, uh, calcium. So electronic configuration on the basis of cell and subset of first 20 elements. And by this, we have completed notes of this unit classification of elements. I hope this video was useful to you and if you like this video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, if you have any queries drop the comment in the comment section. Uh, see you on the next video. Thank you.